It's time to stop. It's time to stop. I don't know if I can wear this anymore. I don't know. I don't know if I can support Paradox. CK2 has become a game for furries. The furries are ruining everything. Holy fur your fury start off as such a nice wholesome DLC. Not anymore. Not with this new Easter egg. This is legitimately a part of the base game. Every day we stray further from God's light. By generating a random new world, we can uh, continue to click here until things get all, so yep, there. Oh man, I don't even know what to think. So this video right here, we're gonna have cats all throughout the British Isles, bears in Iberia and parts of France, and dragons in Germany. And oh yeah, uh, there's gonna be plenty of interspecies sexual relations going on, including humans. Humans are gonna get in on some of the fun, so I'm sure some of you guys might like that. Just in time to ruin someone's No Nut November out there. But seriously, uh, it's kind of hilarious to see just how much time and effort was put into kind of it's just a secret mode. Like, I'm amazed. Maybe this is gonna become the most popular way to play Crusader Kings. And to make this even better, I have completely shattered this world, which means like every single count is now an independent nation. I, I think, I my knowledge of CK2 is really bad, but uh, I think it's like every state independent, just like in Hoi 4. Now I don't know if this is the Pope or not, but I I'm wondering how he feels about the furries. Like, is he gonna be okay with it? You know what, I have a feeling, I, I think it's gonna be just fine. I love how the elephants have taken over the subcontinent of India. It makes so much sense. Obviously these animals were used a lot in battle from this region, but in this world, I like to think that the roles were reversed. Like, now they're riding humans. Oh, same goes for here. Oh, you know what's happening here. <laughs> they gotta get their revenge too. Now this is where things are gonna start to get a little weird. And as we progress, it's only gonna continue to happen. This woman is married to a dragon. Seems painful, uh, but she did give birth to an egg. The egg is the heir. Nine-year-old egg. Damn, that's that's an old-ass egg. But it's not just limited to humans, though. We have a uh, dragon and a bear that are getting it on. They popped out another little bear. I don't know how that works. Maybe there are some furries that can let us know in the comment section down below. Now, this is going to bring up some bad memories. Oh, some real bad memories. One horse and one man. I've definitely seen this one before, and it doesn't end well for you. This game is putting... <laughs> Way too many horrible images inside of my head. I'm just not gonna say anything else. I, I don't want to get demonetized. Let's go back to just staring at the map. I don't know how, but Poland is by far the most developed nation in Europe. I, I don't see what they did, but uh, okay. They're gonna dominate. And religion is gonna be all over the place. I can't remember if I specifically messed with anything, but uh, yeah, we do have some Catholicism and Orthodox, but also like Slavic, Germanic, and other things. Oh, this nation is led by a 15 year old egg who's married to a 13 year old egg. Well, good luck. This man seems a little too happy being married to a cat. Although uh, things have clearly not gone that well. That is just way too adorable. I don't know what else to say about this. Uh, Lancaster being led by this kitten. How could anyone go to war with this thing? Now, of course, because furries have the right to be animals, humans also have the right to hunt them. And because Scandinavia is one of the last strongholds for mankind, well, I wish them the best of luck. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what happened to this lady? Do I even want to know? Uh, honestly, dating a hedgehog seems like it's got to be one of the worst in this world. Now, at this point, there are a lot of nations that are starting to get something going. Well, besides in Europe, they're still struggling. But Poland's doing amazing. I don't know what's going on in this universe. Maybe there are some other things that I might be missing. But uh, this man might just be able to procreate without a spouse. He did go blind in the process, though. How could one do this? How could anyone put a cat in prison? I'm disgusted. The polar bear wife died, too. So uh, this is just a tragedy. Oh, my God. It only gets worse. <laughs> I hate what this game's making me imagine. How did it lose its three others? This game has everything. We now have Nazi elephants. Wow, okay. I feel very sorry for the humans in India now. Okay, yeah, I definitely messed with this map. I can confirm that. Uh, the feudal and tribal government types, nomadic. It seems to be kind of all over the place. Now I thought that Holy Fury was supposed to get rid of border gore. That doesn't seem to be the case. Not at all. Maybe it's a feature I have to enable, but Denmark has all of the British Isles. So the king of Sardinia and Corsica, 
who is doing quite well, I might add. I guess has a thing for bears. It's a secret thing. You wouldn't know with all his children and human wife. You just can't control those urges sometimes. It feels like certain animals might be destroyed here, like the ducks in between the horses and elephants, and maybe the dragons, honestly, with the dogs, bears, and cats surrounding them. I mean, either way, they won't be destroyed completely. They'll continue to live on, maybe less and less. Either way, I guess it depends on how Poland feels about them, because they are just dominating in Europe. Too bad there aren't rats in this game. Could you imagine, like, the Black Death going on, and they're just, like, spreading that shit intentionally? They're just... <laughs> They're just getting off on it. And there it is. Okay, cool. Wiping out millions of humans and animals alike. That actually doesn't make a lot of sense. It'd be nice if it didn't do that, but whatever. I am very confused about this portrait. I don't know what's going on with this man. Uh, maybe he is a an actual furry. He's trying to be a polar bear, I guess. The dogs over here are just pumping out kids left and right. Although they kind of have an advantage, don't they? Like, they get five or six every litter. But this man is just real confused. I don't even know what to think. Half his kids are humans, the other half are ducks. He's got two secondary wives that are ducks. Also, his uh, great-grandpa is a hedgehog. I'm triggered. I am so triggered. What does this man think he is? I is this a possibly a form of cultural appropriation? Oh, the dogs are gonna be so mad. There's only a couple powerful countries down this way. A lot of the world's still pretty divided, to be honest, and it's about to be 1000 AD. Uh, Africa's doing well, of course, with a couple others. I don't know if the hunting is going really well or not, but um, there's a lot of humans now running around. Like, a lot of the animal species has been kind of killed off. Somewhat here. This man has a hunting dog. Okay, I'm sickened. That's a form of slavery in this universe. Just let this pupper go. I'm starting to think this whole shattered world thing was a really bad idea. I feel like this is way worse than just a normal CK2 game, but uh, I mean, I guess I kind of walked into that one. Delhi's looking great. Uh, it's kind of incredible how well they're doing. That's amazing. Not used to this Indian nation uh, looking so massive. I didn't even realize that England popped up and England is all of a sudden doing kind of incredible taking way too much of continental Europe, but okay. Their king is also a dragonborn. I guess this is where the Skyrim characters come from. There's actually probably a lot of that on this map. I don't even, what is even going on with this dude? Is he trying to be a chicken? That's what I see, he's, he's got a chicken outfit. Okay, well, I guess we should be welcoming as many animals as possible. I can literally make multiple episodes just looking at this stuff. There's, there's so many things that are going on here. Uh, this hedgehog is a werewolf. Yes, he's a werewolf. Strange things happen around this character on some full moons. Maybe he's going out and fighting vampires. I also just found a homosexual dragon. So, I guess that's a thing. I haven't noticed any crusades that have been going on. I've tried to pay attention, but I don't think I see much. Especially with this like super random map. Now, I know this seems bad. This guy's possibly killing his own family, but in the right situation, it might be okay. I mean, hedgehogs eat eggs. Maybe he got a little hungry. I mean, it was a convenient meal. And yes, apparently um, you can pump out as many different species of children as you want, I guess. Horses, hedgehogs, and humans. That's the most I've seen so far. Needless to say, Crusader Kings is a really weird game. Um, but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this is the strangest thing that's happened. Kenim Bornu now controls most of the world. Yeah, this has got to be the most unrealistic. Religion got weird. Just horrible. This is terrible to look at. Uh, yeah, most of Europe is just Germanic. So I guess we did have a, a winner of faith, at least in this continent. And in terms of culture, yeah. It's just the ducks that really got taken out here. It's the only animal group that barely is holding on and the horses aren't doing that well either anyways guys hope you enjoyed this episode uh that was actually really fun i have no idea what that would be like if we brought it into eu4 i don't even want to think about that uh make a campaign with furries that is the next thing on my to-do list i'm just kidding i'd rather <laughs> i'd rather die thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters, LPC, Furry Cruz, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Jen's Love Disc, Mr. Diddlesman, Cooter Donkey, Yeet God McNeckass, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Moak, Abraxas, Princess Emma, Tanner of the Nazareth, Raging Fruit, David Diaz, Papa Stalin of the Paintbrushes, Mr. Flying Sloth, Brandon Hinkle, Alfonso M6, Tem, and Hatman.